as much as I show you, as much as anybody shows you, uh, there's always stuff that's going to be edited out. Whether it's the ums, or somebody making some racist ass comments, or fireworks, you know, like, something's edited out. Something's a little different in that person's life than what it really is. And also, I'm showing you what I want to show you. I dressed up today, so I wanted to show that. I mean, it's not like there aren't videos I have. I mean, it's not like I don't have videos where I look like absolute trash from beginning to end, but today I actually made some sort of attempt. So I was like, yeah, hop on the camera. For anyone who's interested, this is a quick light coal. I use the large ones. Um, the brand is Three Kings, not sponsored. I'm not sponsored by anybody. I am not monetized. I'm not anything. I have like 30 something subscribers and only 1% of them watch me. So, just. It's a quick light coal. So, what happens is it flickers. And if you're wondering if this is like, oh, is this like a sparkler, like a firecracker? It's fun when that happens. Uh, do the little sparks, when they hit your hand, do they hurt? Yeah, they do. Just little, little, little stings that go away. You know what? People do sh do want to show you all their good side. And people want to show you all their fun side and their, and their, hey, I'm peppy and positive and great. Oh my God, and watch me. And I talk about all the fun stuff. Everyone talks about the stuff I talk about. It's so interesting. But I am literally just, I was a relic when I was younger. I just was a little strange. I was always a little strange. It was a little odd. <sighs> I'm talking about all this because what I really wanted to say is drama. I don't want to talk about the drama. But what I do want to say is people show you what they want to show you. People show you only a portion of their lives. They are not showing you 24 hours of a day. They're not showing you seven days of a week. They are not showing you 365 days of a year or 366. None of that is happening. So there's no way you can know what's going on all the time. So it's very interesting to watch all these drama channels, but there comes a point when, when they know they're milking it, they make jokes about it sometimes, but there comes a point when they're milking it and you start watching and you're like, you're not even trying anymore. It's like literally saying the same things and then they start coming up with stuff that I'm like. Mm. You know what? If you're a small channel and you're, you're hustling, that's fine. But if you're hustling with bullshit, you're not keeping those subscribers. I'm just saying, you're not keeping those subscribers. You're gonna get a bump, but then it's gonna drop off because if you're just pushing out bullshit half the time, is gonna want to watch that sometimes i'll watch like the drama channels that i enjoy because i feel like they cover all the details so they all use the same clips sometimes because it's they need the context so it's like oh there it is again but then they all bring up their points and things and i'm like oh yeah i see your point i see your point the problem is i know how some people get so mad at drama channels because they're like you're influencing this and that they say it's their opinion people are easily influenced you fucking said some lies they were influenced by that so why can't drama channels weigh in on it i mean obviously obviously if it's being slanderous and stuff like that if they're saying this person is when they don't know this that's obviously wrong but if they have a receipt where somebody called somebody something and they said oh they called this person that that they're they're just stating it the don't kill the messenger situation if they go on from that and then they start saying, so it must be true, that's a problem. If they say, I don't know, I think I believe her, they're just putting out their opinion. <laughs> opinion. Oh, I said her, I'm not talking about the specific dramas that are happening. I'm literally doing some general thing because it's, <sighs> every time something new comes out, I see the point. I see at least one point in it. And every time someone seemed genuine, and then the next second I'm like, but what if? Because I know people are like, are like, oh, I'm not acting, I'm not that good of an actor, but I've seen them act. I know I'm as good of an actor as like some of these people sometimes, at least like 
this is be me being my own cheerleader again. But when I watch my meltdown video, if I wanted to fake recreate that, I obviously couldn't recreate a lot of the stuff. I mean, I could pretend to shake my hand and stuff, but there's a point where you're like, oh no, that's not, that's not real. But if someone didn't see that and they just saw the recreation, they would believe I was breaking down. That's all I'm saying. Like, if you don't know the real, it's like, none of us know the real. Even, even someone pointing and saying, those are fake tears. You don't always know that. You don't always know that. You might be right, but you don't always know that. Because there are definitely times when I've watched myself and been like, like, I feel like I'm putting on a show, but I know I was upset when that was happening. Like, you're like, I wasn't. I was upset, but like I pushed out more than I needed to push out. You know, that kind of thing. Like you exaggerate it. Doesn't mean you're not upset. It just means that you made it seem you were more upset. So that might've been what was happening too, or legitimacy. You know, it's, it's like right now what's happening is people are like running over things and looking over things and noticing stuff. And it's just like, oh, but you're not watching a movie and critiquing a movie. You're watching somebody trying to put out a video. You're watching an imperfect person try to put out something that they think is as perfect as possible. And guess what? They fuck up their human beings. So doing this is like watching a movie that everybody critically acclaimed in the beginning and then soon around was like, yeah, but you know what? It's a lot like the plot of that movie and suddenly everyone decides this and it, go, and it goes nuts. Except this is a real person. So you're trying to treat it that way and it's just like, you maybe you're right, but the fact that some people will put their opinions out there, there's nothing wrong with putting your opinion out there. I'm not blaming that. But the fact that some people will take that opinion and run with it, I don't understand that. I don't understand that. What you have to do is say, I think this, but I don't know, and take everything with a grain of salt. You know how many times some of these drama channels actually say, take this with a grain of salt? And then the comments are just so like, I don't know man i feel like whenever i feel a certain way it usually ebbs really quickly it's just like you know what that was just my first emotion on that i'm it's not that serious none of this is that serious to me i'm here i don't know any of these people to them it's probably the worst thing in the world or again i've said this before they're all over it they're all dealing with stuff behind the scenes and they're just like yeah let's just play this up you never know you don't know any of it so Maybe we should all just, whatever, do you? Just don't be a bully. Don't be an asshole. That's all. And otherwise, I think time will tell. And I'm definitely disappointed in some of the things that I didn't know about and didn't see and didn't hear. I'm, I'm very disappointed. Like, it's like, I would understand, except... People I have ever met who make jokes like that, I usually don't want to hang around them. You know? Sometimes you gotta trust your gut, everybody. Sometimes you have to trust your gut because sometimes there's a reason why you feel that way about this person. I just wanted to say like, I don't know how I come off. As, uh, on YouTube. I don't know how I come off. I don't know if I come off as genuine, full of shit, calm, too calm, like more like, and, and sarcastic, <laughs> things like that. But I know that um, I feel like I'm talking naturally and I feel like When I watch, I'm not, I'm not the kind of cringe where I'm like, oh, I can't post this. I'm more like, oh, I'm so weird. <laughs> Whatever, somebody might appreciate it. And then post. It, to me, it's that kind of cringe. I'm not really that, I stopped being that self-conscious a long time ago for many different reasons. And, um... I'm trying to look all sweet and hey, let's talk about death. <laughs> so anyway, 
Okay, so I'm just rambling at this point, and I say I said so I think ten times in the last three seconds. Almost did it again. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna say goodbye. I hope life gives everybody what they need. Um, I said in my very first video, whether that's a good thing, I hope life gives you what you need. That's a bad thing. I hope life gives you what you need. Take it either way.